yes the discussion or class software testing life cycle this life cycle divided into six phases requirement phase analysis phase designing phase coding phase testing phase and delivery and maintenance phase already in last classes and we are covered this is a three phases we are covered already now today we'll start a discussion coding phase what is a coding phase we are discuss coding phase here task developing the client requirements developing the client requirements as a application application so developing the client requirements as a application means developing the code for client requirements so this is a, they can go for the developing now who is the role persons developer or we are calling as a programmer and what is the process will be going on finally what is the proof this is we will discuss first of all in coding phase what is the task means developing the coding for the client requirements and who is the role person developer or programmer what is the process here here using technical design document in designing phase we have the proof document technical design document using that technical design document developer start the developing the actual source code developer start the developing the actual source code what is the actual source code see if you go for the username password and this is a login button this is one application this is we are calling as a front end this is we are calling as a designing what developers will be developing the application means developer enter the normally we can enter the username password and click on the login button after clicking the login button page will be displayed so generally we are using this login functionality like this enter username enter password click on the login button after clicking the login button related page will be displayed but here what developer will be developing the code means after clicking the login button before open the related page after clicking the login button before open the related page meanwhile some logic will be going on what is the logic means whenever click on the login button this username password is authorized person or unauthorized person they are checking in the server that purpose developer developing the coding by using java dot net php like that server side coding they need to develop so this we are calling as a actual source code we are calling this we are calling as a actual source code means after enter the username password and click on the login button and related page will be displayed but after clicking the login button before related before open the related page meanwhile some logic will be happen what is the logic that username password is authorized person otherwise unauthorized person like that they need to check it here very clearly that purpose developer here start the writing the coding this coding only we are calling as a source code document using any one technology like java coding dot net coding php coding whatever the coding using that code they can start the developing the actual source code or we are calling as a server side coding they are written so this is only developer will be implementing the process to go for the process what is the process here means developer developing the actual source code of the application 
this is we are calling as a process of the coding phase and what is the finally proof here means source code document whatever the coding they can develop that all the related information they can mention into the one document that is we are calling as a source code document we are calling so whenever coding phase is completed one sample application also come out so this is we are calling as a coding phase we are calling once again what is a coding phase task developing the client to requirements related coding and roles who will develop developer or programmer what is the process developer using technical design document developing the actual source code of the application what is the meaning of actual source code means server side coding they can develop here this is the process of coding phase finally proof source code document whatever they are developing the coding in that code related all the information they can mention into the one document that is we are calling as a source code document we are calling after coding phase is completed and sample build also release and first build also release now that first build we will start the testing so we can go for the next phase is testing phase we need to go for that what is a testing phase come to the here this is our phase we are involved here only first task what is the task who is the roles and what is the process and what is the proof so this is a way we need to go for that and this we are calling as a task roles process proof this is we have the okay four points we have task roles process proof now in testing phase what is the task testing the developed application testing the developed application this is a process this is a task sorry this is a task who is the roles test engineer what is the process what is the proof listen here what is the process first of all test engineer will receive the requirement document requirement document or we are calling as a frs document requirement functional requirement specifications we are calling this document test engineer will receive and start the understanding the all the functional specifications validations flow of the application everything they can understanding by studying the frs document whenever they are studying and understanding the all the functionality flow of the application they are raising some doubts that all the doubts they can prepare into the one document that is we are calling as a frs issue note we are calling frs issue note we are calling otherwise clarification note we are calling and these all the doubts they can send to the some senior people otherwise uh, senior test engineer or lead some senior people they are sending and they can clarify all the doubts of test engineer whatever they are raising the doubts all will be clarified after clarifying the doubts test engineer once again go for the frs document understanding very clear manner once again what happened here means first of all test engineer will receive the frs document test engineer will receive the frs document and study and understanding all the application functionalities while studying and understanding they are raising some doubts that all mention into the one documentation that we are calling as a functional requirement specifications we are calling it means functional requirement specification issue note we are calling otherwise they are calling as a clarification note we are calling that document send to the senior people 
in order to clarify the all the doubts. After clarifying all the doubts, test engineer once again go for the FRS document, very clearly understanding all the application specifications means application functional requirement specifications. Okay, once understanding the all the functional specifications very clearly, now test engineer start the writing the scenarios. Test engineer start the writing the scenarios. Here, what is mean by scenario? Here very simply we are calling what is mean by scenario means what to be tested. This is we are calling as a scenario. In application, what to be tested that we are calling as a scenario. Very simple format. What is a scenario means what to be tested. This is we are calling as a scenario. In that application functional specifications, what functionalities to be tested that they are finding as a scenarios and mention into the one documentation that we are calling as a test scenario document we are calling that we are calling as a test scenario document we are calling whenever all the test scenarios are completed each and every scenario purpose start the writing the all the test cases what is mean by test case here test case means in short form how to be tested how to be tested this is we are calling as a test case what is the scenario what to be tested this is a scenario that scenario how to be tested that is we are calling as a test case what is the scenario what to be tested test case is nothing but that scenario how to be tested this is we are calling as a test cases okay whenever they are finding all the test cases and writing and finalizing the test case document in order to implement the peer review in order to implement the peer review what is meaning of peer review what is the meaning of peer review means same designation people will reviewing the documentations that is we are calling as a peer review we are calling so what is the peer review same designation people will be reviewing the document that we are calling as a peer review we are calling. So once again what is the we can go for the complete process we will start a discussion. First test engineer will receive the functional requirement specification document and this document test engineer start the studying and the understanding studying and understanding while studying while understanding they are raising the so many doubts in order to clarify all the doubts in order to clarify all the doubts they are sending that frs issue note or clarification note send to the senior people in order to clarify all the doubts after clarifying all the doubts, after clarifying all the doubts and the test engineer once again go for the FRS document and understanding very clear manner. After understanding the all application functional requirement specifications, now test engineer start the planning to identify scenarios. What is mean by scenario? Here in short form what we are calling as a scenario means what to be tested in the application that all we are calling as a scenarios. Once again what is mean by scenario? In short form what to be tested that we are calling as a scenario. All the scenarios they can mention into the one document that is we are calling as a test scenario document we are calling whenever scenarios are finalized then start the writing the test cases for each and every scenario purpose what is mean by test case 
to test the particular scenario okay means how to be tested so that scenario how to be tested that we are calling as a test case we are calling scenario is nothing but what to be tested test case is nothing but how to be tested whenever writing all the test cases and mention into the one document then they can conduct in the review peer review what is mean by peer review same designation people will be reviewing the document that is we are calling as a peer review we are calling that is we are calling as a peer review what is a peer review same designation means two test engineers writing the test cases and one test engineer test case document will be reviewed by the some other test engineer and that test engineer will be reviewing the some other test engineer document means same designation people will be reviewing the document that we are calling as a peer review we are calling that we are calling as a peer review we are calling so here whenever they are conducting the peer review and finalizing the test case document whenever finalize the test case document and then next process will be started what is the next process first we can clarify with this all the process once again very clearly i can give this process whenever test engineer will receive the frs document test engineer start the studying understanding all the requirements very clearly while understanding they are raising the some doubts that all the doubts mention into the one document that is we are calling as a frs issue note they can mention all the doubts and mention into the one document send to the senior test engineer otherwise some other senior people in order to clarify the doubts after clarifying once again test engineer clearly understanding the frs document means application functional specifications in order to find the scenarios whenever they are finding the scenarios and writing the all scenarios into the one company template and preparing the document so this is we are calling as a scenarios they are finding and once again what is mean by scenario what to be tested in the application that we are calling as a scenario to test that scenario and we need to start the writing the test cases what is mean by test cases how to be tested that scenario how to be tested that process we are calling as a test cases we are calling okay all the test cases are completed then conducting the peer reviews in order to finalize the test cases what is mean by peer review same designation people will be reviewing the document that we are calling as a peer review okay whenever peer review is completed test cases are finalized now here developer developing the application and giving to the testing department so whenever a developer developing the application and that application they can deploy it into the common repository what is the meaning of common repository local servers their company having the some local servers in that local server they are deploying the applications whenever they can complete the developing that application they can deploy into the common repositories and giving to the test engineer how they can give in order to releasing the software release note this is a document this document having lot of information related to the releasing means when they are releasing which project manager will be releasing and what is the input what is the url of the application everything they can mention into the software release note document using this information 
test engineer start the testing the application means test engineer can open this application whenever they open this application with the help of the software release note and execute one by one test case on the application one by one test case they are executing on the application whenever they can execute in order to find the defects all the defects mentioned into the defect profile document all the defects mentioned into the defect profile document these all the defects sending to the development department developer fixing the defects all the defects fixing releasing the and build to to the testing department test engineer once again they are start the testing on the application really defects are rectified or not if rectified close the testing if not rectified and they are finding some other defects same process finding the defects sending to the development department once again developer will be releasing the build 3 after fixing again releasing testing department test engineer once again they need to start the testing these process continue continue whenever application is defect free up to this process will be continue only this is a complete process of the test engineer in testing phase to test any application manually they can follow the procedure this same procedure we can implement it with the help of some sample project we can discuss these all the process on that application practically in our further classes this is we are calling as a project implementation we are calling means we are giving here functional requirement specification okay how this functional requirement specification document is looking like how they can arranging how we can understanding using that document how we are finding the scenarios and writing into the templates and each and every scenario purpose how we can write the test cases by using templates and these writing the test cases how we can execute on the developed released application and in order to find the defects these all the defects how we can maintain in the templates otherwise bug tracking tools and then these all the process with the help of one sample project we will implement in our course only so just we are understanding in this testing phase theoretically process we are understanding this is same process we can implement it with the help of one sample project this is a we are planning to go for in our further classes fine now we are understanding what is a test engineer doing the process but finally what is the proof here in this process they are implementing the process but finally what is the proof when they can stop the testing whenever application is defect to free then only they can stop the testing means application is defect to free means quality application we are calling so this is a proof for the testing phase quality application this is we are calling as a testing phase test engineer can implement the process for the manual testing purpose this is we are calling as a testing phase what is the task testing the developed application who will test test engineer will be testing and what is the process this is a process we are discussing here all the process requirements document understanding studying and raising the doubts clarifying the doubts once again test engineer will go for the forest document clearly understanding writing the scenarios writing the test cases conducting the peer review finalizing the test cases and then developer developing the application giving to the testing department with the help of software release note 
using that information test engineer will open the application and execute one by one test case on the application in order to find the defects if defects are finding mention into the defective profile document these defective profile document send to the development department and developer will be rectify releasing the modified application this modified application test engineer once again check really defects are rectified or not this is a procedure test engineer will be maintaining again and again finally defect free then only they can stop the testing this is we are calling as a testing phase we are calling finally what is the proof here quality application is nothing but proof document we are calling understood up so like the test engineer can test the manually one application testing process this is we are discussing simply theoretically that same process practically we can implement it on one sample project now we are getting the some practical knowledge also so this is we are planning to go for that in our further classes okay this is we are calling as a testing phase we are calling this is we are calling as a testing phase we are calling fine yes